look how majestic that shot is. <laughs> ah, she's a beaut. I actually, I have paint for the roof. It's like, a, it's a sealant slash white paint. It's really expensive, actually. And like, once I, uh oh. So it's like, once I paint the roof, that thing will look a heck of a lot better. Just don't have the time. And I'm selling that, and actually one of our YouTube subscribers emailed me, and she thinks she might want to buy it for her and her husband. So that would be really great if we could get it to one of our subscribers, and that way we can stay in touch, and I can see everything that they did to it. Okay, so today's project, I think I said yesterday that we sold the RV. But before we sold it, I had went ahead and ordered a new fabric for the awning, which a lot of awning, if, if you're bored, just skip ahead. A lot of the awnings have spring-loaded like ends, but luckily ours is just a motor, and it's not spring-loaded, so it should be a really easy replacement. Uh, knock on wood. So Rachel's dad, Dennis, is gonna help me because it's definitely a two-man job. But I got here like 6.45 and I packed my toolbox with all my tools that I needed because I was going to go ahead and get started because Dennis was going to be here at 7. And I forgot my toolbox in the garage. Like I had to make two trips because I had my coffee and everything. And then I got the ladder. And then I totally forgot my toolbox. So I'm just like stuck here not doing anything because I already cleaned out the RV. Um, but anyway, so he's on his way. He'll be here in just a minute and we'll get started. I kind of want to set a timer like when we start and see how long it actually takes. Hey Dennis, yeah. how long total do you think we spent replacing that awning? Do what? How long do you think total we spent replacing that awning? You already did that? Yeah. Oh my God. 25 minutes you think? Yeah. So 25 minutes. Well, I slept. Had it. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, luckily, we weren't planning a, or we weren't needing Aunt Lala to help. Um, but yeah, so 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and got the brand new awning on there. So that was yeah, it was a really easy project. Luckily, with the solar uh, awning, power awning, there's no spring. Uh, so yeah, that was super easy. And now, kind of organizing. We have a lot of crap, so we have a lot of stuff in here that's ours. And so just kind of organizing everything, and Aunt Lala's got some stuff in here. Uh, so yeah, and then I'll, I'll head home. I started already. For, the kids not, are spilling the tea. They're not even in kindergarten. No, they are in preschool. Bear and Lindell are in their second year of preschool, and we're, we're getting the, the hot gossip as of late in the preschool class. So, Eloise started preschool. I don't think we've mentioned that we've decided no, to pull my, her back out. No, because my parents asked how it was going. Oh. And they would only know by watching the vlog. It is not going. Well, yeah, because I haven't talked to her in like two weeks. Well, okay, so. I think we talked about it on the vlog. We did? Yeah. Well, she was sick one day, so we didn't send her. Uh -huh. And then the next week, she, it was a knockdown drag out the, from the moment she woke up. And it's kind of progressed towards that. And then also her favorite teacher was gone that week, like on vacation. And that's been, I haven't done a drop off, but that she's been your saving grace. Yeah. When yeah. you get there. Yeah, her teacher. She kind of takes, Eloise, th she has two teachers, but there's one in particular that she takes under her wing. And even Cassie said that when she stopped by one day, her teacher was holding her. Oh really? Eloise, uh. yeah. So there's, there was that. And then this particular day, we knew her favorite teacher was gone and she was just a mess. And we just decided, like I was already on the fence anyway. If it would go well and if she loved it, then we'd do it. But if not, then I'm not gonna push for it because it, it adds chaos to our lives. She's so young, like she's technically before the age that she should be for the class anyway. So it would be, like it is an exception that they were even letting her in the class. So anyway, we just decided we're not gonna do it and we maybe we'll reassess in January. 
So that's the scoop on that. But Baron Lindell's class. So then I was like, for Eloise's birthday party, she had already made a couple of friends at school and her, her best friend at school can't come, but she knows Baron Lindell's friends too, one in particular. And so I told Baron Lindell they could each invite one person to Eloise's birthday party and then our other friends are coming. There's gonna be plenty of kids there. But, okay, so what's the deal? Well, you have the latest scoop on who Baron Lindell went to invite. So Lindell knew she could only invite one kid. And so at school, she invited the one kid. So Lindell has two best friends at school. One's a boy, one's a girl. She invited the boy and she told the girl that she can't come because she's only allowed to invite one person. And so she picked that other person. And so I was like, Linda, like you can't, you can't tell people they can't come to Eloise's birthday party. You just don't mention it. Right. And she's like, why? Why? I'm like, well, it's just kind of rude. Why is that rude? So. It's just, hilarious. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, it was funny because I told Baron Lindell that they could each invite one person to Eloise's birthday party. And they, Lindell was like, oh, I want to invite two. I was like, who can't? And so that's the two. So she told me she was just going to invite the one, which sounds like she did. And then later, Baron Lindell kind of both decided they wanted to invite the same friend. And... Turns out that friend can come and that's great. And so that's the only one I invited because the last I heard, they both wanted this friend to come. And she's been their best friend the whole time, basically since day one of preschool last year. And she's in their class again this year, which I'm glad because they have, oh, hi, hi. They have the option of half day or full day. And this friend is a full day friend, which that's what they call him. They, she's like, so-and-so is a full day friend and so-and-so is a half day friend and I want to be a full day friend because then we nap there. It's just <laughs> funny. Um, so I had only invited that one friend and now I found out that Lindell invited this other friend, which I'm curious if he went home and like relayed the fact because there's no like official invitation that I've handed out or anything, but. Do you have his parents over? I do. I. I actually know his parents and we it's, ran into them. It's really late in the game now though. It is, um, but it's worth a shot. But I have her number because we ran into him at the pool two summers ago when Eloise was a baby baby. And <clears throat> we exchanged numbers and so I, I happen to have it in my phone still. But her name is the same as our photographer and I don't know which one it is. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Here we are. So last clip, I was actually here at the shop, and we didn't vlog at all yesterday. Okay. So this is the next day, and now we're here, and we're going to empty this bad boy. So this whole thing is chocked full of stuff. Now, it's not very organized, so it actually looks a lot worse than it truly is. But if you look in here, she's pretty full. A lot of that stuff, just like Christmas decorations, so... We're gonna pull it all out, we're gonna donate a lot, and we're going to store a lot in our old house, in our, in our, I should say, in our new house. Little progress update. It's only been about 15 minutes and, whew, so yeah, we're rolling right along. Obviously I came across some old army gear. For those that don't know, I was enlisted for six years in the army, finished my contract, Went to undergrad, went to optometry school on a Navy scholarship, and so that's why I made the switch, and I'm now in the Navy. I always tell people that I wised up and went from the Army to the Navy. Yay, the bus is empty! Whoop, whoop! And we, we're getting rid of a lot of stuff. All that is going to Rachel's yep. sister, Annie. She'll either keep it, or sell it, or donate it. You really wait. <sighs> yep. We I just have, We have dumbbells. Yeah, and I just don't free weight. Like I thought, like I thought I would. Um, so all that's going home with us, and then we have a little bit of stuff that's going to go in storage, and that's it. And then in the new RV, we have a new RV pile of like this stuff going in the new RV. So I'm not sure when we'll pull the trigger on the new RV. Um, the gentleman's picking that one up this weekend. 
and so that'll be gone. Um, and I've got my eye on a couple, a couple really big Class A's, so maybe we'll pull the trigger sooner rather than later. We shall see.